So here's a clinical scenario for you. Your patient is hospitalized with an acute medical illness. You appropriately order thromboprophylaxis, but what's the appropriate duration? Now, in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers report on a randomized trial which evaluated the efficacy and safety of oral rivaroxaban administered for an extended period as compared with subcutaneous enoxaparin administered for a standard period. They randomly assigned patients 40 years of age or older who were hospitalized for an acute medical illness to receive subcutaneous enoxaparin 40 milligrams once daily for 10 days and oral placebo for an additional 35 days or to receive oral rivaroxaban 10 milligrams once daily for 35 days. The primary efficacy outcomes were the composite of any venous thromboembolism up to day 10 as a non-inferiority test and up to day 35 as a superiority test. Here are the findings. There were no differences at 10 days between the two groups. So the acute non-inferiority of rivaroxaban was established. But at day 35, patients who received anoxaparin followed by placebo had an event rate of 5.7% compared to only 4.4% who received rivaroxaban. That's good news. But as we are seeing in all of these trials that test the new, more successful anticoagulants, there was more bleeding in the rivaroxaban group at both the 10-day and 35-day outcome period, though all bleeding came in at less than 5%. What's the major take-home message? You probably have to treat longer than you think. In acutely ill hospitalized patients, short-term rivaroxaban or anoxaparin are equal, but extended duration rivaroxaban reduces the risk of venous thromboembolism. The downside, of course, is that rivaroxaban is associated with a slight increased risk of bleeding. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.